Hey guys, how's it going? This is Pocket, and this video I'm going to show you how to recover deleted files from your Android device. So, let's get started. So, there are two methods to do it. I'm going to show you both of them. And the first method is a very easy method, doesn't even require a computer, and but it doesn't work as you expected. The second method requires a computer and it works as you expected, but it's much harder and it takes a lot, a much longer time. So I'm going to show you the, fir the first method now. So what you need to do only is to download an app called Dumpster, which is exactly right here. And it's a free app from Google Play Store. And I'm going to show you what is this like. So as you can see here, Dumpster is empty and it says to delete something in order to show up. So what we're going to do is delete something. So I'm going back and going apps, then go to gallery. And I'm going to delete this photo because why not? So I delete it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go back home. And then I'm going to dumpster. And then you should see the photo here, which is the which is which I we accidentally delete. And I'm going to click on it and I'm going to click restore. And then I click OK. And boom, you have restored your uh, photo. But unfortunately, this only works on. So there is a big drawback on the first method. This is not going to work if you don't have the dumpster already. What I mean, if you delete your photo and then go to watch my video and then download Dumpster and then uh, try to recover the photo, the photo is not going to be on Dumpster because you don't have, you didn't have Dumpster already. So this only works if you already have the app. This is a bit drawback, but the advantage is that it's very quick and fairly easy. Now moving on the second method, as I mentioned, the second method is going to take a long, much longer time to scan all the deleted files that you have but it doesn't require to have already the app in order to do this it can scan all the deleted files that you have basically most of them so the app is called Dr. Phone and the app looks exactly like that as you can see the logo, the, the title you can go ahead and search it on Google Play Store download it and it's completely free so this is the main screen of the uh, Dr. Phone and what I actually want to do is to recover some photos and videos. So what I'm going to do is to click on photos and videos. Uh, I'm going to select the forms format that I want to search for. So let's go ahead and click on BMP, for example. Uh, basically, JPG, JPG, for example. Uh, it's going to take some time to configure the uh, information. Let's go for, ex for internal storage. Click on scan. And this is going to take a while to scan all the files that you have. So this is going to take a while. And what you need to do is to wait, relax, and take some coffee until this is uh, completed. I'm going to cancel out this because this is going to take me billions of hours to, to finish. So this is the second method. And also, you can use the Dr. Phone application for your computer. This is acceptable for Mac and Windows, and this is a website where you can download uh, the file, the program. This is a website, go ahead, download it, make sure to switch to Windows if you have Windows or Mac if you have Mac. And this is fairly easy to use, just exactly you need to select the type of files you need to, to, um, to scan to make the process a little bit faster. I'm going to select only gallery and for videos, which is photos and videos. Uh, I'm gonna click on scan the files. You can you can press on scan for all files in just in case, or even select the advanced mode. So let's go ahead and click on scan for the files because this is the fastest uh, mode from the slowest. And this is going to take a while to gather all the information from the and from your Android phone. Okay, so now it has fully uh, get all the structure from it. So what it needs now is to scan all the deleted files and again it's going to take about trillions of hours to finish that's why I hate this method but it actually works and imagine if you delete every if you delete by mistake 
uh, lots of files and you want to scan this is going to be awful but actually is the only way and the most accurate way to get all the deleted files back so yeah so that was the the video the tutorial hope you enjoy it please make sure to subscribe on my youtube channel oh and i forgot to show you that you can do it on your uh, SD card as well so let's go home to show you I'm gonna pause the scan process uh, delete the file close the file doesn't matter alright so you can also uh, use your you can also search for deleted files from your SD card I'm going to wait to load great let's click next uh, you can see the lost data from on the external SD card you can click on scan it and in order for this to work you need to take out the SD card from your other device uh, plug it in on an adapter and then connect to your computer and then it's going to scan for all in for all the other files on your SD card and this depends on the size of the SD card and the amount of data you have in your SD card and yeah so that was the method that I want to show you I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe on my YouTube channel. Also, follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook fan page to get my latest updates. And yeah, I'm going to see you in my next video. So, see you later.